Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ English, your favorite UPSC platform. Now the countdown has begun. As September 2025 is approaching, the world cannot wait to witness a unique celestial phenomenon. As September is approaching, especially 7th and 8th of September, we are heading to view a rare astronomical wonder. In the skies, we shall see a phenomena called as blood moon. The stargazers, astronomers, photographers and students across continents of Asia, Europe, Australia, Africa are highly excited to see this. This will happen owing to a very unique and changed alignment between the sun, the earth and the moon. This is referred to as a total complete lunar eclipse. Quite a unique phenomena that will make the moon look blood red, very different from its natural color. So let's talk about this phenomena, quite important for geography, quite important for your GS paper 3 science, technology, space exploration. The blood moon is a unique event because it happens only when the earth comes directly in between the sun and the moon. The reason behind the process scientifically is known as the Rayleigh scattering effect. We will talk more about this. This causes the moon to appear dark to those people who are living on Earth. This happens because while the shorter wavelength light, that's the blue light, is scattered everywhere, it is the longer wavelength red light that passes through the Earth's atmosphere. And owing to this diffusion of red light, we view the moon as becoming completely blood red in color. Now, talking about why is it such a rare event? Because although total lunar eclipses have happened in the past, but this one will be the longest of its kind in recent past. It will take about 82 minutes for the phenomena to unfold. No wonder people across the world are excited. According to the reports, 87% of global population shall be able to see this phenomena directly. Scientists are also saying that there is nothing to worry. It can be witnessed through direct vision. There is no need for any special apparatus unlike in the case of solar eclipse which can cause eye retina damage. And since people across Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia can see it, it is creating quite a virality among people right now. During this total lunar eclipse, the entire moon falls within the darkest part of the Earth's shadow which is known as the umbra. That's the darkest parts of Earth's shadow we are talking about. And when the moon is within this dark zone of umbra, it starts appearing red-orange to us. The color shift is the reason why we call this as the blood moon. So, if we were to see this phenomena, then we should believe that it will be visible from anywhere in the planet, wherever the moon is above the horizon. And as the scientists are saying, since it's quite a safe phenomena to be captured directly with naked eye, people believe that September 2025 will be a moment of great enthusiasm. These 82 minutes will once again reveal too much celestial wonder among people. On that note, for your UPSC exam, particularly GS Paper 3, we should know a little bit about the Rayleigh scattering phenomena. Now, this phenomena is the reason why sky looks blue to us every day. This is also the reason why we feel that sunset and sunrise are deep red and orange in color. Because this phenomena is about specific and diverse scattering of light rays of different wavelengths. For example, when sunlight, which is white light, passes through Earth's atmosphere and sunlight is made up of many colors, we know the very famous acronym WIBGYOR, composed of colors like violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Let's understand that every light has a different wavelength because every color has a different wavelength. So while the blue and the violet ones are short wavelength colors, it is the red and orange that have a longer wavelength. Naturally, because Earth's atmosphere is not homogeneous, we know that it is comprising of not only so many kind of gases, but also some kind of water vapor, tiny gas molecules, particularly nitrogen and oxygen, which make up the key component of our atmosphere. It is the tiny molecules of these gases, namely oxygen and nitrogen, which are very small to see. But they have the power enough to scatter the short length wavelength colors. For example, blue and violet. 
they are therefore scattered much strongly as compared to shorter ones like rather longer ones like red now what happens this selective scattering of light causes the sky to look blue to us it also gives sunset its very beautiful orangey color so the reason is the relic scattering which is completely dependent on a selective scattering of light phenomena through the particles of the atmosphere quite an important physical phenomena for your exam and we should remember this but as of now we are just waiting for this amazing sight on 7th and 8th of september and once it happens i think we will have more clarity about when next shall we be able to see such lovely cosmic wonders so as of now before i give you a very important news it is good to remind you that in case you want any specific topic to be discussed any particular phenomena that you want me to cover do let us know in the comment box and i shall present it to you immediately as of now the good news is about the end of the season sale yes please if you want to enroll for any of our courses to make your upsc journey smooth and successful you can use the code on your screen the end of the season scale is unique it's grand you will have a huge discount on all our courses and this is valid only till 31st august 2025 so do not delay sign up do call on the number and do take benefit of this see you and all the best